Hi, I'm James Brinton, speech-language pathologist and assistive technology coordinator at LC Technologies in Fairfax, Virginia. In this video, I'll talk a little bit about how eye tracking works and several of the unique design characteristics of the eye gaze edge and how it meets the specific medical needs of our eye gaze users. If you're somebody who needs an eye tracker to communicate with others, connect to the world around you, and control your environment, these characteristics will be very important for you. First, let's talk a little bit about how eye tracking works. Eye tracking begins with a video camera mounted below the computer monitor that views one or both of the user's eyes. An infrared light illuminates the pupil and creates a reflection off the cornea or the surface of the eye. The eye tracker then analyzes the features of that pupil and corneal reflection images to determine where the user is looking on a computer screen. Many eye trackers use this pupil center corneal reflection principle to track your eye. But there are several important qualities of the LC technology system, the eye gaze edge, that for many people make it more accurate, more robust, and much more comfortable and easier to use for extended periods of time. A major factor to consider when selecting an eye tracker system is the system accuracy. Gaze point tracking accuracy describes how precisely the eye tracker measures where you are looking. A highly accurate system makes it fast and easy to designate icons and buttons with your eyes. Less accurate systems make it slower and harder, which can make it fatiguing and frustrating. Our primary goal in designing the eye gaze edge is to provide maximum eye tracking accuracy for a wide range of medical conditions. We have spent over 30 years optimizing our eye tracking algorithms to achieve the best accuracy in the industry. The best eye tracking accuracy enables the longest, easiest, most productive work sessions. Another key eye tracking feature is the amount of infrared light that shines on the eye. While some eye trackers use 20 to 30 infrared lights to light the eye, the eye gaze edge uses just one. Though you do not see infrared light particularly well, large amounts of it can have a drying effect on the eyes, causing people to blink more often to keep their eyes moist. People with diminished blink reflexes are susceptible to eye fatigue and often need eye drops. The eye gaze edge uses the smallest amount of eye tracker illumination to maximize comfort over extended periods of continued use. The next factor to consider is how the device might constrain the user's position and comfort needs. Some eye trackers require that the head have no significant left or right lean with respect to the eye tracking camera. Thus, the user needs to sit up straight if the monitor is in its usual upright position, or the monitor must be tilted to the side if he or she wants to lean to the side. For people with ALS, brainstem stroke, spinal cord injuries, muscular dystrophy, or cerebral palsy, sitting upright might not be the most comfortable long-term position. By comparison to many other eye trackers, one key feature of the eye gaze edge is that it is able to track the eye with any head lean angle. The user can lie completely on their side, even if the monitor is still upright, and remain comfortable. A key condition of many people with disabilities is ptosis of the eyelids, or droopy eyelids. With eyelid ptosis, an eyelid droops and does not open to a full normal extent, which is a problem for eye tracking because a droopy eyelid might block part of the pupil and make it difficult for the camera to measure the true location of the pupil center. Some drugs, such as baclofen, which is often used with ALS for muscle relaxation, have a side effect called medriasis. With medriasis, the pupil dilates extensively. Like eyelid ptosis, medriasis also results in part of the pupil perimeter being blocked by an eyelid. To handle both eyelid ptosis and medriasis, LC Technologies has developed unique software to recognize when an eyelid blocks the pupil. Based on knowing which part of a true pupil edge is blocked by the eyelid, the eye gaze edge then correctly computes the pupil center. If you have eyelid ptosis or medriasis, LC Technologies pupil occlusion software permits continued eye tracking use where other systems often fail. In summary, when evaluating eye tracking systems for communication, be sure to consider how the eye tracking instrument itself performs for your particular medical circumstance. Here are some key questions that you should be able to answer. 
Is the eye tracking accurate and easy to use? Is the illumination easy on your eyes? Does the system meet your positioning and comfort needs? Does the system handle any eyelid ptosis or medriasis that you may have? At LC Technologies, we're passionate about building the world's best eye tracking, hardware, and software solutions and delivering them with superior customer service.